Hi, Pilates family. We are in the south of Spain for my second annual Pilates retreat, and we have this amazing space that we've been teaching Pilates meditation classes all week. So I wanted to do a couple videos. We have a little bit of an echo, it kind of sounds like we're in a church, but it's a beautiful space. It's too hard to pass up. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. But we are going to do a little bit harder exercise class today. So it's going to push your Pilates practice a little bit harder. Um, if there's something you feel like you can't do, if it's bothering, you know, a shoulder or a hip, then just skip it if you want to push yourself a little bit more. If you can't do 10 exercises or you're in that 10 mode, you can always drop it down to where you feel like you are stabilizing yourself and do five or six and work yourself up to 10. Don't feel like you have to push yourself and end up with hurting yourself or really just focus on what works best for you. Skip an exercise if it doesn't feel good and then just pick back up at the next. So again, like I said, this is gonna be a little bit more higher intermediate, more advanced work for this class. So we're gonna start on the top of your mat and just walk yourself to the end. And we're just gonna start with a big inhale up. And then as you exhale, kind of ground your feet to the floor and you're gonna hang down and get that stretch. So if you're really tight in your hamstring, just hang there for a second. Try to get that release of the back of the side. All right, we're gonna walk yourself out. One, two, three, and just hold. So you're in a plank position. A modification is to come down on your knees and pull them underneath you so that you can extend your leg. The harder way is to stay up and really widen your collarbone and keep your abs tight. So we're just gonna lift and tap your foot. So find your balance, elongation through the spine. You don't wanna sink in the middle and you don't wanna lift in the lower back. One more. Yeah, plant your foot, switch inside, lift and lower. So 10 again is the magic number. Four, three, two, and one. Push back a little bit to get that downward dog or that stretch, and then bring yourself back out. All right, you're gonna pull your knee in, reach it out long. Again, if you want that modification, bring it in and reach it out. Keep your core tight. Exhale, reach. One more. Right leg down. Make sure you're set. Pull it in. Add the tight. Pull the floor bones in. Find that extension to reach and pull. Three, two, and one. Good. Pushing back. Try to get off those shoulders. And walk them down and back to your feet. And we're just going to hold here and get that stretch again. Good. Walk yourself out and you're going to shift your body weight. Your hand should go underneath your shoulder so that you can go into that side plank. Bend your knees, bring yourself back to the floor. Again, you can stack your feet. Sometimes it doesn't feel good on the ankles, especially if you're kind of bony in your feet. You want your hand turned out to push and find that balance. Knees come in. Reset yourself if you need to. Stay long through the body. Push and reach. We're going to hold up here and go into a rotation. So you lift your hips to the ceiling and you open back up. So it's a twist under and an open. One more. Good. Knees in. Get a little stretch. Good. And hope you got a little sweat on with that exercise. And we're so excited that you joined us. We'll see you in the next video.